Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to cover archiving and copying files between systems. So after this lecture you will be able to use tar to create new compressed archive files and extract files from existing archives. So archiving and compressing are useful when we have to create backups and we have to transfer the data across the network. So tar is the oldest and the most commonly used command and tar stands for tape archive. So what it does, it gathers large sets of files into a single file which is called archive which can be further compressed by using different compression methods like gzip, bzip2, xz, right? So we are going to use tar here. The command which is to be used is tar, then space hyphen cvf which stands for create verbose and forcefully. So it will be used to create the tar file and uh, the method is tar space hyphen cvf and then space name of the archive which you want to create. Like I want to create the archive of uh, slash etc directory and name of uh, uh, name of the archive I want to set etc backup dot tar then space slash etc right so what this command will do it will create the backup of slash etc directory inside current working directory with the name etc backup dot tar right and when you press enter so now it is archiving all the files of slash etc directory into a single tar file which will be created in the current working directory with the name etc backup dot tar right so it is done and when you press ls it will display etc backup dot tar right and uh, you can compare the size of files also by using du hyphen hyphen si command. So when I write slash etc, tree is of 29m. And when you use the same command for etc backup dot tar, then it is 27m. Right. Now you can use various compression methods to compress this file further. So compression methods are gz, gzip or bzip2 or xz. Right. So I am going to use gzip space name of the tar file. When you press enter it will take a few seconds to zip this file and uh, what it is doing it is compressing the file actually. Now when you write ls it is displaying that etc backup dot tar dot gz. So this is the extension which is added gz and if you check its size then it is 16m. Okay. So now the file is compressed and it can be stored in a B, it can be attached to your mail and uh, it can be stored for further recovery and as a ba backup or you can send this file to the remote system so for that if I'm checking my 59211 right so this is my IP address and what I want to do I want to send this file to the remote disk so I have one more machine with me and I need to bring up its connection and what is the IP address so 192.168.159 and 132 this is the IP address of this machine right now I am going to send this archive to this machine and for that we can use SCP command so you can check the manual man scp so it is secure copy remote file copy program scp co copies files between hosts on the network 
it uses SSH for the trans SCP you need to make sure that S SSH server service is enabled on the remote system coming out of it and the method is SCP space etc backup dot r dot gz then 192.168.159 space 132 and inside slash mnt directory connection refused system ctl restart sshd dot service are we able to ping 192.168.159.211 ok so now trying again so now it is asking for the password of the remote system so I'm gonna fill that now so i have got the file uh, the zip file in this machine etc backup.r.gz and i have moved to this directory slash mnt and uh, here this file is present and if i want to uncompress this file then as this file is compressed by by using gz so i need to uncompress it by using gun Z. Gun zip, right? So gun zip space name of the file, and when you press enter and press ls, then this file is now unzipped. Now this is the archive which I have in this machine, and in order to extract it, you need to use tar space hyphen xvf stands for extract verbose and forcefully. But in you want, if in case you want to just list the contents of the of the tar file without extracting it then for that we have tar space hyphen tvf and space name of the file now if you press enter it is long listing the contents of the archive and in case you want to extract this then xvf and press enter so the file is extracted and in case you press ls then it will display you etc directory and the archive right so this slash this directory etc directory is actually the slash etc directory of this machine of the other machine right so you can move into this directory and you can list the contents so it is displaying everything Right. So in this way you can archive a file by using tar command and you can copy that file into, uh, into the remote system by using scp command and you can unzip the file by using gunzip or bunzip2 and after unzipping the file you can list the contents by using tar space hyphen tvf command and you can extract the file whenever you need by using tar space hyphen xvf right so this is how archiving and copying files work and uh, this is the one of the uh, this is one of the oldest and most commonly used command for back for backing up and for uh, sending the files onto the remote system right so tar is very useful and we will cover some more interesting concepts of RHEL in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching.